Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG live video. It is your boy Daddy Mac and today we're gonna play one of my favorite decks Such a good deck. I say that about a lot of the decks I play and I promise I'm not being biased It's a really good deck and this is gonna be none other than Raging Bolt EX Again, I really love this deck before we get into the deck list We're gonna go ahead and take a dive in play a couple of games technically uh, or not technically typically three to four games depending on how much time we have and then we go over the deck list at the end of the video so make sure you stay tuned until the end leave a like subscribe do all that good stuff because i'm going to go ahead and start uploading more of these videos and i got a lot of good things coming for the channel mass effects spoiler alert such a beautiful time to subscribe to daddy mac so we're gonna go ahead and start first i mentioned on my last video i got braces and I'm recording this video right after recording the previous one. And not only is it very uncomfortable to talk, it also is starting to cut my mouth. So I originally had the top braces for seven months. Are you serious? Three mulligans. If you guys missed the last video, I said, the more you win, the more this game hates you. But anyways, seven months after I got the top braces, I got the bottom, and man, super uncomfortable. I talk with the lisp now, so excuse me, but I hope you enjoyed the content. So we're gonna go ahead and go first. I don't like my hand, not one bit. We're gonna play the nest ball. Golly, this is worst case scenario for us. I can't even Squabilly. So we got one Squabilly in the prize. Gotta take my notepad out. Oh my gosh. Do we got an O? Okay, we got an Ogre Pond in there as well. Got too fixated on that, and now I'm running on time. We're gonna get the Ogre Pond. Wow. This game really does hate me. Okay, Buddy Buddy Puffin comes out. My opponent has a Delphox V in play. I haven't seen a Delphox V in a very long time. And they got two Charmander. This is going to be a Charizard EX deck. I already know it. Play an S ball. What are you going to play now? Dud and Sparse. Dud and Sparse engine. Interesting. Or this is actually a Dud and Sparse. Not Dud and Sparse. Tongue Twisters all around. They touch the fire energy to Delphox. They can technically confuse and burn us, and they play the Quarry Seal Stone on Delphox V. They're probably going to use it, would be my guess. They burn me. Don't confuse me. Actually, I am confused. And I cure. Okay. I thought you had to turn the thing upside down. I'm gonna play Jamming Tower. This is gonna prevent them from using that V-Star power, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna hit up the Iono. I'm not running any switch, so we're gonna have to attack as as we are. I'm gonna play the Nest Ball, and we're gonna go ahead and play Radiant Greninja. We're gonna play Concealed Cards, get rid of the basic energy. Draw two, we get two more energy cards. I don't want to burst roar. Man. We're still not looking good, to be honest. I don't even want to play anymore. I'm just going to end my turn. But you know what? This is Pokemon. We're just going to gut it out. And we're going to go ahead and do that. There's the Ultra Ball. Please don't grab a Charizard. Or do. It's up to you. They discard two Arvin. 
Yep, there's the Charizard. The rare candy goes to the Charizard. They're probably gonna power up their Charizard or their Delphox. I don't know. Golly. This is not looking really good for us. It's actually looking really bad. I don't even know what I want to do. Magical Fire, gonna do 120 probably to Greninja. Ah, oh, you don't read. I'm cool with that, not gonna lie. Dude, I really don't want any of these cards. What are you doing? I'm gonna play Professor Sada's Vitality. I'm gonna play the Ogre Pond. And honestly, oh, I can't Penny anymore. I'm a dummy. We just get rid of the two squad, Billy. Why? Because we're gonna go ahead and pick up our own Raging Bolt. Gotta get another one because this one's gonna go down here in just a moment. Concealed cards, because why not? I'm gonna get rid of the electric. We got rid of an electric just to get an electric. That is lovely. Why are we being dealt these hands? This hand. We're confused. Give me a heads. There you go. And because it's going down, honestly, we just get rid of the two that it has right now. Uh, we'll get rid of all three of them. Let's take a let's take a KO to start things off. I'll take it. We'll take that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, there's a grass energy. That's exactly what I wanted. Because we got the Ogre Pond for a reason, right? We want to use Ogre Pond. So, yeah. They evolved their Dunsparce to Dunsparce. And they're going to hit Runaway Draw to draw three cards and shuffle that Dunsparce and the Dunsparce into the deck just to bring out a second Dunsparce from the bench. Okay. I somewhat like where we're at. It's not the greatest hand in the world, but it's going to have to do. Straight up. They get the Super Rod to shuffle cards in their deck. I'm glad I stopped the Floris Seal Stone, and I hope they get rid of my own jamming. Oh no, not the unfair stamp. Okay, we got Professor Sada's Vitality. That's actually gonna be okay. That's best case scenario for us, literally, right after they played that card. Okay, Here, what are you gonna do? Worst case scenario, you confuse Raging Bolt again. Yeah. Ah, oh, we don't. We don't get cured of the burn. Okay. Look at this. What a beauty. We're gonna hit the Teal Dance. Technically, we should have used Radiant Greninja, but I want to have as much energy draw or energy power as possible. We're gonna hit up Professor Sada's Vitality. We're gonna go ahead and do this and do that. Two draw or three. Look at this. We get another teal dance. We're gonna dance for the teal. What beautiful. What a beautiful sequence. Oh, I love this. I love it a lot, actually. Give us another heads, please. Give us another heads. Yeah, baby! Let's go! I'm okay with this Raging Bolt going down. Technically, um, let's see. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this uh, Lightning Energy. And then... 140 to 10. There you go with this. Are you gonna rage quit? They're gonna concede. I get the feeling they're gonna concede. Give us the heads. Nope. I can get rid of this Charizard next turn. I'll show you guys how in just a moment. 
My opponent plays Jack. Well, actually, I should just explain how I can get rid of the Charizard now. So what I can do in theory, I'm going to let this Raging Bolt go down. Obviously, I don't got a choice. Because assuming they evolve this little Charmander into Charizard, they're actually going to have to use the... What is this thing called again? Dark uh, Infernal Rain? Yep. And they're going to power up the Charizard. My Raging Bolt's going to go down. But, ultimately, what I'm going to do, I'm going to play Professor Sada's Vitality. I'm going to hit up an Ultra Ball. This is going to allow me to get another Raging Bolt. That way we can get as much energy on board as possible. I technically only need 5 energy to knock this thing out because 5 times 7 is, 30, is 35. Right? So... We just need 5 energy to knock it out and we can totally do that on this next turn. Believe it. Check this out. We're going to play the Braging Bolt EX. Whatever we draw next turn, we don't need. Okay. I don't even need the Lost Vacuum technically. We can get rid of it. Because we're going to get another Raging Bolt. This is going to allow us to go ahead and play Professor Sada's Vitality. We're going to go ahead and play our energy however we want. And look at this. we got an energy retrieval. This is going to allow us to get the two basic grass energy cards. And this is double G's. We already got three energy on board. This is going to give us two more. And um, yeah, we've taken this Charizard out to date. Well, two a date. And we're going to play another... Um, uh, actually, it doesn't matter. We're just going to go ahead and win. That was overkill. I'm sorry. We didn't need to do that. I just wasted a little bit of time from our video. There you go. And that's 350. Charizard is mine. What a way to bounce back from a really bad hand. And a really bad sequence. I love it. Okay, game two of the day. And I got a feeling we're against another Charizard deck. Okay, got a Nest Ball. And we're gonna play Seal Mask Ogre Pond. Okay, so to go over our board, we got a Raging Bolt EX on play. In our bench, we got a Raiding Greninja. We got two Seal Mask Ogre Pond with two basic Grass Energy cards in hand. This sets us up beautifully because we're gonna go ahead and attach those two cards in hand. We get an energy retrieval. I'm going to go ahead and play the other teal, you know, mask ogre pond, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and play concealed cards because we just drew a lightning energy. We want to try to get as much cards as we can as possible. And honestly, I think we call turn because we can Professor Sada's Vitality to draw three. And we feel cherry. Cherry on top. Here we go. My opponent has a Bidoof in play with zero bench Pokemon. They do play the Nest Ball. This is going to determine what kind of deck they have. Let's see. Got to patiently wait. They got an Arceus V. Okay. This can mean several things, actually. They play the Arceus V. They can't evolve it for obvious reasons. They play a Fire Energy, and they're going to call turn, right? Yep. I'm a genie. It's what I do best. Squabilly. Don't care for it. We don't need it anymore, so too little too late. Look at this. We get a basic energy again. And lightning one to be exact. And we ain't got anything. This means we got a call turn as well. Our hand is too good to hit the burst roar. Squabilly EX is absolutely useless to us. And look at this, they got the RCS V-Star. This means they can use their V-Star power. And they can get whatever two cards they want. And they might be able to do some damage at this point. Here comes the Starburst. I haven't seen this ability used in a very long time. Ever since the Charizard V-Star deck, I haven't seen Arceus V-Star use the Starburst ability. Worst case scenario, next turn, we get the energy retrieval just to get our basic, you know, lightning energy. And we hit the Radiant Greninja. We really want to try to get as much cards. We want to try to draw as much cards as we can so we can hit my opponent with a 10 pound trunk. Truck, trunk, truck, trunk. A Tonka truck, if you will. Okay, the barrel is in play. My opponent has five cards in hand, so they really cannot do anything to capitalize with that. 
They play a Flutter main. Does this only... Yeah, it only affects active Pokemon. So that's not gonna matter. Okay. But the Seifer Manic... They can use Bibero to get whatever they put in their... Top of their deck. Here comes a Delphox. Double Turbo Energy. That's gonna do 200 damage to us. And they're gonna power up their Delphox. That's pretty rowdy, not gonna lie. Wow. That's pretty sweet for my opponent. Technically, we can take the Arceus of E-Star. We just need the right cards. That's all we need. Let's see what we get. Oh, I like this, actually. We just drew a... a cornerstone mask. Ogre Pond. We play the Energy Retrieval. This allows us to play the Radiant Greninja. Let's see what we get. God, we get nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm gonna play Professor Sada's Vitality. Give us the Fighting Energy, please. Nothing. Again. And this is not looking good for us. Not at all. I'm gonna play the Thought Pad because we've already played two of these Professor Sada's Vitality. Golly. This is actually not good for us. We gotta get the Raining Bolt. We gotta pre prepare another one because the one we just had got knocked into Tomorrowland. We gotta call turn and we lose our two, our first two prize cards to start the game, the game match, whatever you want to call it. Dad, this isn't looking good for us, to be honest. Trinity Nova is gonna hit. That's gonna take us, and my opponent can choose to power up their Flutter Main if they choose. I don't know why you would do that, to be honest, but hey. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. That baffles me, actually. That's interesting. Okay, here comes our Raging Bolt. We're gonna try to hit up a Professor Sada if we can just stop drawing them all the time. Oh my goodness, look at all of this shenanigan. What am I even doing right now? What is this? This is like... I have so many cards in my hand but I cannot get the cards I need. Like, what kind of... What is that? We get rid of our Iono. I don't feel like we need it, but I really do feel like we need to use Radiant Greninja. Give me something, finally. That is all I need to do. Okay. Um. Like I said, we can get rid of the Arceus. We definitely can do that. Do we want to do it? No, not really. Ursa Luna can definitely take this Delphox, though. I don't think we're going to do it, though. We're going to play the Bellowing Thunder, and we're simply going to just get rid of all of our energy cards just so that I can get rid of this Arceus. I really feel like I need to catch up. That's why I did this. We really got to catch up. Because I feel like we're playing really behind. There is one of the cards that I needed, an Earthen Vessel. Pokestop, don't care for it, not right now at least. We're getting close to what we got to do. We really are. Here comes a Magma Basin and an Iono. All of the beautiful cards that we have in our hand, all shuffled into our deck just to draw four. And we still get a Professor Sada's vi Vitality. Oh, we're looking beautiful, actually. We're looking great. I can definitely take the Cell Fox next turn. We're gonna do it, too. You play the Nest Ball, you go ahead and do that. You got, like, super unnecessary energy on your Del Fox. I don't even know if you got any energy in play for your deck. You have eight total energy in your discard pile. That's too much. But I also don't know how many energy my opponent is playing. 
You can play the de-evolution. I don't got any evolution Pokemon. That's fine by me. Honestly, what we got to do is take the Delphox by using Professor Sada's Vitality. How much grass energy do I got? Okay, we're still looking cherry. Cherry, I tell you. Very cherry. Okay. Professor Sada's Vitality is going to come in super duper clutch. We draw three. We can play the Earthen Vessel and get rid of the Squabilly. We can totally do that. We're going to grab the two Grass Energy because we got the two Ogre, Ogre Pond in play. Oh yeah, we're looking really good. Your Iono did not phase me. Look, we got two Penny now. And obviously we got to play this to Raging Bolt. I don't think we're going to go down next turn, though I guess anything is totally possible. So we're just going to do our due diligence. And get rid of one of the electric energy from this Raging Bolt, just in case. You never know. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. I hope that I can keep this momentum up. Ooh, a Professor Sada's Vitality and a Grass Basic Energy. We're looking really good. Unless my opponent Ionos. I do understand that that's definitely a possibility. We're looking really good, though. I really like the momentum that we have going on right now. Just please do not Iono me. That can really be detrimental. You can bring in the Ogre Pond. That's perfectly fine. That is perfectly cherry. Oh, I don't know. It's like I'm a mind reader or something. I know what to expect. Oh, that's still pretty okay, to be honest. I'm okay with that. So, it only deactivates the Pokemon I have in play's ability. I can technically get rid of this. I gotta play my cards right though, because Radiant Charizard is gonna be a really big problem. It already is, actually. Mm. We're gonna go ahead and just play the concealed cards, and we're gonna get rid of our Grass Energy. Oh, we get the Luminion, baby. Let's go. This is actually going to be really, really good for us, because we got the Professor Sada. And we're going to play it. We're going to play her. Got to play our cards right for obvious reasons. Oh, look how good this looks. We're looking cherry. This is looking beautiful. What Iono? Your Iono doesn't phase me. Look, we got an unfair stamp for the next turn, too. Okay, we're looking good. What I'm simply gonna do is retreat my Ogre Pond. We're gonna bring in this Raging Bolt. What a beauty. We can definitely win this. I could even play Forest Seal Stone. Or later. Because I already played Professor Sada. And we're simply gonna hit the Bellowing Thunder. We're gonna get rid of... Actually, I expect you to go down. So I'm taking both. There you go. We're looking dandy. Okay. Radiant Charizard makes me nervous for obvious reasons. My opponent can technically have a counter catcher, a prime catcher, a boss's orders in their hand. So many switcher uppers. There's an RCSV. Here comes the nest ball. I don't know what you're gonna bring. Another RCSV. It's a little too late for all of that stuff. Double Turbo Energy goes into the RCSV. Lost Vacuum is gonna get rid of my Forest Seal Stone, isn't it? Oh, interesting. Very interesting, actually. I don't understand why you would do any of that. Oh, because still though, I don't understand why you would do that. That's a misplay. 
I've missed Blade 2, not gonna lie. A hero escape and a counter catcher. Wow. That's really bad news for us. <laughs> That's like worst case scenario. And I think we got rid of our last vacuum, didn't we? No, we didn't. Oh, we can totally win. Okay. We gotta play our cards right again. So I'm gonna play Ogre Pond. Yeah. I'm gonna play Ursa Luna. I'm not gonna announce, I'm not gonna do any type of commentary here. Because I want you to see what I'm about to do to this man. He knew it! Man, I'm overcoming the bad hands like I'm some kind of genie. GG. Okay. We decided to go f Oh, why did I just lay two Squabilly? We're gonna have to use a penny for no reason now. That's definitely my own bad. Is this a rematch? This feels like a rematch. We're gonna play the Raging Bolt. Obviously, gotta play it. Okay. I just wasted a bench spot because I did not think things clearly. Okay. Blood Moon Ursa Luna came in pretty dang clutch the last time. I don't know if I'm ready to discard. Eh, we're gonna do it. Why not? What are we gonna do it for, you may ask? None other than the Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. Why? Because this is gonna allow us to get a Teal Dance going, attach a basic energy to it. There you go. And we're going to call it a turn. This is going to allow us to draw another card on the turn that follows and kind of get a little bit of draw power going on. So upset that we just let our squability, uh, a squabilly, take a bench spot. I swear I'm facing the same dude again. Same card sleeve. So far, the same exact cards that they played. A fire energy. They played. Look at all that. That's the exact same dude I played just a moment ago. And I made myself look very stupid just now. Okay. And that ball is good, actually. Hmm. What do I want to play, though? Radiant Greninja. That's the obvious answer. We're gonna go ahead and play the Teal Dance here. Luminion is pretty sweet, not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and play it right now. Wow, I'm so smart. I'm very smart. I'm the smartest dude in the world. Look, I got three slots that I do not need right now. <laughs> oh, shame on me. Very much so, shame on... I can't use this ability anymore. Super, super, duper shame on me. Play the Jamming Tower just in case my opponent decides to do something. I'm going to call it a turn. I should be able to get rid of the Arceus V or V Star next turn too. So we're feeling okay. Double Turbo Energy. You got the V Star in your hand, don't you? I know you do. Play it. I dare you. This is the same dude I played earlier. I already know. I actually don't mind Squability getting Squability. Why do I keep calling Squabilly Squability? Um, I really like this Penny Art. See the Pokeball and her Eevee? Well, I think that's an Eevee backpack if I recall. I haven't played Sword and, or not Sword and Shield, um, that one game in a while. What are we at now? Scarlet Violet. How did I forget that we were in Scarlet Violet? That makes zero sense. 
This is the same dude I just played, isn't it? I like cannot shake that feeling at all. Go ahead and play your RCS B star. That's fine. I'm gonna get rid of it on the turn that follows. I'm kind of in trouble though. Not gonna lie. Man, look, I got an ogre pawn right here that can go right here. You can play the judge. I don't mind that actually. I might hit you with an Iono. Maybe an un no, unfinished stamp isn't even gonna matter. They got the Bubero. But we feel good, is the point I'm trying to make. We feel really good. Look, like there's a Delphox. Cool. I'm cool with it. Get rid of it. Don't need it. Don't mind it at all. Okay. To draw six or five, doesn't matter. I'm doing unfair stamp. Okay. Here we go. Let's get rid of this RCSV star. Okay, we're gonna hit the energy retrieval. That way we can go ahead and hit up the teal dance. We're gonna dance on them. Pause. Don't need the squad Billy. Don't need it at all. I'm actually gonna hit the unfair stamp. I know they can totally offset it with this, but you know, I want to disrupt them cons consistently. Um, what do I do here? Help me out. I'm okay with hitting the Radiant Greninja, so we can go ahead and draw two. Like we got another Raging Bolt. What I'm comfortable with doing is I might as well just get rid of. Uh, Penny. I need another Raging Bolt. Yeah, I need another Raging Bolt. But I also need another Teal Mask Ogre Pawn. On board. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Because why not? I'm going to play the Penny so I can pick up my... I guess it doesn't matter, Luminion V. That way we can make space for Raging Bolt. And we're gonna hit the Bellowing Thunder. What energy do I got in play? Nothing. I guess we can play Professor Sada's Vitality here in a moment. We're gonna get rid of the Arceus V star. I had to force myself to say V star because I almost forgot. Pelpad and Nest Ball. Don't need them. Delphox is gonna do some pretty good damage, not gonna lie. Especially if I don't draw an electric energy, it's gonna destroy me. Lost Vacuum is fine. I don't mind that at all. And just like we expected, they play the scissors. In scissors or in. Yeah, in scissors. They got a skull of it. Now they can shuffle and do whatever with their hand as much as they'd like. Why do you keep attaching energy to this? Am I missing the point? Oh, it's because that makes sense. I haven't seen the Delphox V in a long time. I forgot what it does. Hero's Cape. That's just beautiful. I'm being very sarcastic, by the way. They can start picking us off. Look at that. Technically, they can get rid of both of my Raging Bolts on this next turn if I don't draw something good. Oh, man. We're gonna have to get rid of it. Oh! That's cherry. That's cherry on peas or whatever you want to say. Get rid of the nest ball. I don't need the nest ball. But at the same time, here, here's where the problem lies for us. The problem is... The problem is that...
We're toast. We're butternut toast. Straight up. I think we've lost this match. It doesn't matter, to be honest. We're gonna get we're, we've lost. This is this is double G's. And I'm okay with it. It was a good one. The run was good while it lasted, not gonna lie. And I'm content with losing this like a warrior. So yeah. Honestly, I really like the outcome of this. I'm pretty sure it's the same dude too. I'm gonna have to go back and double check, but I really shot myself in the foot by putting two Squabilly right away. Like what kind, What was I thinking? There you go, there's your four. That's cool though. Revenge spot for him and I'm proud of you. My little salty, maybe a little bit, but it was a good run. Take your four. Can't believe I jacked up the last match. That was somewhat unfortunate. Anyways, here's our Raging Bolt EX deck. It's super fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I never thought we'd see the day where this card would actually come in clutch, and it won us. It somewhat won us the game. We didn't get to see the Blood Moon attack, but it won us the game technically. Radiant Greninja is a staple on this deck. We're running for Squabilly. We want consistency. That's all I'm saying about that. We got Corner Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond EX, and the primary reason why I have this is because this actually stops a couple of decks. It stops a good amount of decks, and the energy to this deck supports it. So really quick before we take a dive into that, we got six basic grass energy, four fighting energy, and four electric energy. So that's um, our energy. Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond EX has actually helped me win against a Faragif Faragarif. What is that? What is that Pokemon called? Yeah, Faragarif. Faragarif. Gary 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 You know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, this card here has allowed me to overcome this card, and it's super beautiful. That's why I run this card, and it also stops damage against Charizard. EX decks. This stops damage against a bunch of other decks that I can't think of right now, but it's super good. We only need one of them though, that's why we really only run one of them. We got three Raging Bolt EX, this is our primary attacking Pokemon and this is why we have it. We got one Luminion V, comes in clutch with the Professor Sada's research or vitality. And then we also got three Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX. Absolutely love this card. It's uh, one of the primary reasons why we're able to get off so many damage with Raging Bolt EX. I really love it. We got two Lost Vacuums. This actually comes in pretty clutch at times. I run two because we want to get rid of any um, Pokemon League Headquarters cards in case we don't get the you know Jamming Tower or the Pokestop. And then also allows us to get off of any A-Spec um, Pokemon Tool cards. We got three Iono, one Unfair Stamp. One for his Seal Stone, which you can technically get rid of, but I have it for the Luminion V. I think that card actually came in clutch on one of the games as well. I think it was game two. We got two Professors, or sorry, I don't know why I keep calling this card Professors Research lately. We got two Bosses Orders, because we're the bosses. We got two Energy Retrieval, pretty dang crucial, because, you know, we're consistently discarding energy. And technically add another superior energy retrieval but we got one of these bad boys as well we got four nest ball a lot of our cards consist of basic pokemon and we can't use a buddy buddy puffin so we use four nest ball we got two penny it's a staple just like professor turo you can run one i like running two because you never really know we got three ultra ball don't need any more than that we got four professor sada's vitality was so upset that I had not enough, I didn't have enough funds for the full art variants, but hey, it is what it is. Jamming Tower, because our Arc Nemesis are the future box decks, we have this to stop those. And then we got four Earthen Vessels, simply allows us to get all the energy cards we need. We had four of these and didn't draw them enough today. That was kind of unfortunate. Pokestop is pretty crucial because it allows us to get the Earthen Vessel, 
repair, energy retrieval, energy retrieval, and even any other item card as we need it. We got Palpad because as we're consistently discarding a ton of energy, it's important to have this little lady stacked up and ready to go. And you could honestly just use it for anything else. But you know what? That's going to be our deck recipe. It's your boy, Daddy Mac. I really hope you like this video. I really want to make a deck that uses this card. Brings up old school memories. Nevertheless, it's your boy. We'll see you guys next time. Leave a like, subscribe. Cheers.